of the coolest things about being in Vegas right now is we have so many people coming from California, so many celebrities like Polly Shore, for example, living in Vegas, which yeah. is so cool. Not only is he living in Vegas, he's performing here as well. One man show called Stick with the Dancing tonight, tomorrow, and a couple dates in April as well over at Wise Guys Comedy Club. You're going to want to see it. He is here with it's us great. today from his house yeah. on the Sunset Strip. Hey, Polly, sorry to interrupt you. I was just jumping in because I'm excited, man. Excited for this show tonight. Yeah, it's um, it's uh, it's definitely not it's not stand up. It's um, it's more of a spoken word. It's it's a monologue. There's videos and there's uh, photos playing from behind. I mean, I've been doing this for probably about thirty years, maybe twenty five, thirty years, and. Every time I'm promoting something, people are always like, what's it like growing up at the comedy store? What's it like uh, Beverly Hills High School? What was the Sunset Strip like? So I said, shut up. I'm going to do a, a one-man show about it so I can answer all the questions. So that's what it is tonight at Wise Guys. And it's basically, um, it's, uh, it's, it's almost like I'd have to say uh, Mike Tyson's undisputed truth, but, you know, I didn't go to prison. So, you know, it's... <laughs> It's uh, stories of my childhood, and um, and it's been pretty cool. I've been working it for a while. I, I brought it out on the road, and now it's back in Vegas. And uh, Mike Binder, the director of the um, of the Comedy Store documentary, will be there tonight because we're trying to sell it as a special. So we're kind of um, wanting the support from all the locals. Nice to kind of come out this week, this uh, tonight, actually. So. Well, I mean, I'll tell you that that docu the comedy store. So we we had interviewed you a while back. You were promoting your your latest movie, and uh, then I started watching the comedy store documentary. I had no idea your connection to the comedy store, and your mother running. I had no idea that was your mother. Once it once it clicked, I'm like, wow! And to be able to be yeah. there during like in your formative years around some of the funniest people on the planet, coming up and having your rise during MTV's you know peak. I mean, like. You gotta have a ton of stories. I, I can't. I can't imagine wow. how how cool this I, uh, this show is gonna be. I have a story. Just this morning, I'm sitting there across the street at the hotel, at the Pendry Hotel, and Chris Rock walks by, um, and I'm like, Chris, come here, you know. And we sit down and talk for about a half hour. And Chris and I started at around the same time. And I've known Chris. A lot of people don't know my relationship with him. Um, started when we were both, you know, 19, 20, 21, 22. And, you know, he's one of my old friends. So it was really nice to bump into him. Um, and yeah, so it's most of the people that know my stuff, they know, uh, they know, uh, MTV or movies and different yeah. things like that, but they don't know, like you said, the affiliation with the history of comedy. And my father, Sammy Shore also, um, who started the comedy store, you know, with my mom, um, was a very big comedian in Vegas and mm -hmm. toured all over with Elvis Presley and uh, Barbara Streisand, Sammy Davis Jr. So I had this kind of rich, rich childhood history growing up as a kid. So that's kind of what the one man show is. It's, it's me like basically saying, stop asking me questions about my childhood. Here's, <laughs> here's the answers. I've answered everything and now I want to move on. So. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I can tell. It's been wearing on you for a couple of years, hasn't it, Polly? All these questions. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. I feel, I feel a little, almost like a little bit of sympathy for you right now, sitting there on your couch in Hollywood with that cute little bandana around your neck, my friend. Um, thank hey, you, thank you. You're welcome. See, look at, aw, poor Polly Shore. Hey, um... We talk about something else that's fun because listen, you, despite your, you know, somber demeanor at the moment, uh, you have a huge personality and you've been able to step into some amazing roles recently in voiceover. Tell us a little bit about my sweet monster and Pinocchio. Well, it started, the relationship started with Lionsgate a couple of years ago when we did a guest house, Yeah, which, um, yeah came out and that went really well for me. And there was a trust and a relationship that was built. And um, from there, they just started offering me voiceover stuff. And then when the role of Pinocchio came up, it was just kind of a, I, I told my manager, I'm like, what do they want me to do in Pinocchio? And they say, well, they want you to play Pinocchio. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> nice. And I was like, are you sure? Double check the email. And then I just went into it and it, it went viral and it's out now and people really are enjoying it. And then uh, 
My Sweet Monster, which is another um, another uh, animation film where I play a villain. That comes out, I think, next month. Mm -hmm. April 12th. And so, I mean, I'm in the business of uh, entertainment, so I do it all. I, I'll do, I have a band called The Krusties. I, yeah. I do right. videos. I do, you know, everything. So I yeah. people always ask me, what do I like better, voiceover, a stand-up, or, you know, one-man show? I kind of like it all. I do it all because um, I like it all, and I like, I don't know. It's all good. Well, the, yeah. we are, we're super happy to have you in town. Tonight, your one-man show premiering over at Wise Guys Comedy Club. Great to have you, buddy. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. The hey, one-man show. You know, uh, wait, wait. Well, when he was just talking about doing everything, I was thinking, you know, in Vegas terms, he's kind of like the buffet of entertainers. Yeah, you know, like a little is. bit of everything. There you go, Polly. A little bit of something. I, I am. No, I am the buffet of entertainers. It's smart, uh, smart. It's all different. It's all different stuff. I mean, I just kind of like to flow. I like the band, though. The band's been fun for me. The Krusties, you know? Well, I just like yeah. the fact that you don't limit your creativity. You don't put yourself into one thing. It seems like you're doing whatever you want to do, which is awesome. At this point in your career, you get to kind of choose. Yes. No, it's awesome. fun. So. Well, we're very happy right, I'll for see you guys you. tonight Bye. at Wise Guys. Yes. 730. Tonight. Yes. And uh, stick with the dancing. Stick with the dancing, Woo. a.k.a. also known as Bye. Shut Bye. Up. Let me tell you the story from Polly Shore. It's going to be tonight and tomorrow on April 11th and 12th. You want tickets and more info, you go to polyshore.com.